Hi. So here we're going to talk the difference between a positive definite matrix and a positive semi-definite matrix. The difference is like this. If we try to understand in the physical sense, suppose I have a matrix A. And I want to find whether it's semi positive semi-definite or positive definite. So I'm going to look at it this way. Suppose here is a vector, any vector x. It's kind of going in that direction. Vector means it has magnitude and direction. So x is going in that direction. And I'm going to hit x with a matrix, with this matrix A. Kind of like apply. And then it will kind of change the direction of x. So x was going this, and I hit, it goes now this way. Now, if a, just consider A as a force. Now if I hit with X with this force and it changes direction such that this new direction is still kind of in the same direction. It doesn't reverse the X. So it means suppose this was X and then it got hit and the direction becomes this. Then it's still in the same direction. So we take the convention that if the direction is up to 90 degree then it's in the same direction. But if it becomes in this way, so beyond 90 degree, it's in the reverse direction. So if I, this is x, I hit a, it changes the direction, but it's still in the same direction, Let, let's consider. But if I hit with a and it becomes like this, then it was going this, now it's going like this. So this angle is more than 90 degree, so it's kind of, let's consider going in the opposite direction. Now, a positive definite matrix A is such a matrix that if I hit any vector x with that A, the direction, it will change the direction, but the direction will not be changed to such extent that the motion of x will be reversed, like the motion of x will go beyond 90. Now, this is x. When I apply A to x, it becomes Ax. So this is x, this is ax. So this x and ax. And then angle must be less than or equals to 90 degree if here positive definite or positive. If it's positive, if a is positive definite, it will, after hitting with a, the direction will still be positive. If it's not positive definite, after hitting with a, the direction will become negative opposite so beyond 90 degree. Now if A is such that by after hitting X with A the new direction and the old direction have an has an angle have an angle which is less than or equals to 90 degree then A is a positive semi-definite matrix. If the angle is strictly less than 90 degree like it cannot be 90 degree strictly less than A is a positive definite matrix. So definitely below 90 degree. And if it does not, if after hitting X kind of goes in the opposite direction, like beyond 90 degree, it's neither positive definite nor positive semi-definite. So if we think in terms of mathematics now, this is X. After hitting with it becomes AX and the angle is let's say theta so a positive semi-definite matrix the matrix a is such that x times ax so x and the dot product of x and ax so dot product of x and ax is more than equals to zero and that will only happen if x and ax has an angle which is less than 90 degree or equals to 90 degree at most because dot product is dot product of a and b is a magnitude of a times magnitude of b times cos of angle of in between a and b if the angle is theta then cos up to cos 90 it's positive beyond cos 90 like cos pi by 2 beyond cos pi by 2 it becomes negative so the angle of between a x and ax cannot be more than 90 degree if a is a positive semi-definite. 
and that's we write like in terms of mathematics we like in terms of matrix x prime ax more than equals to zero that's the same thing okay, so here's the definition of the physical idea of positive semi-definite and positive definite matrix i hope you enjoyed thank you